Welcome back to our channel. When discussing the descendants of Adam and Eve, most people immediately think of the story of Cain and Abel. However, many tend to overlook the other biblical accounts that mention the other sons and daughters of Adam and Eve. In this video, I will specifically focus on exploring the daughters of Adam and Eve. Who were they, and how many of them existed? By referring to sources such as the Book of Jubilees, the Holy Bible, and ancient traditions, I will delve into the history of these daughters of Adam. So, if this topic has sparked your interest, please like this video and leave a comment. Stay tuned for this additional content, The Untold Story of Adam and Eve's Daughters, a topic rarely discussed and often overlooked by theologians, biblical scholars, and even those curious about sacred scriptures is the mystery surrounding Adam and Eve's daughters. Typically, when people read the Bible, they focus on the more well-known sons of Adam and Eve, Cain, the firstborn, and Abel, the second. However, they often forget that Adam and Eve had many daughters. Genesis chapter 5, verses 4 and 5, provides intriguing information about the sons and daughters of Adam. The text mentions that Adam lived for 800 years after bearing Seth, during which he fathered both sons and daughters, totaling 930 years of life until his death. The Bible does not provide the names of Adam and Eve's daughters. However, ancient Jewish traditions and the Book of Jubilees offer insights into the names of some of these daughters. The Book of Jubilees, also known as the Little Genesis, is part of the Old Testament Apocrypha. It narrates the creation of the world, the formation of Adam and Eve, and tells stories of various Old Testament characters, primarily from the Book of Genesis. Although the oldest accessible manuscript dates back to around 700 BCE, it is a copy of an even older work. Some scholars associate the Book of Jubilees with the Book of Chronicles, suggesting that the scribe Ezra may have written it. However, the Book of Jubilees claims that Moses was its true author, who received a revelation from an angel on Mount Horeb. It is worth noting that the Bible mentions Moses spending 40 days and 40 nights on Mount Horeb without eating or drinking water in the presence of God. Due to the antiquity of the text, we cannot dismiss the possibility that Moses was indeed the author. The Book of Jubilees holds significant importance in Israelite culture, with several copies being distributed among the people. Furthermore, it references another mysterious apocryphal book, the Book of Enoch, which was widely known to early Christians and even formed part of their biblical canon. This underscores the importance of not disregarding the Book of Jubilees, as it contains events that align with the stories of the Bible. Now, returning to Adam and Eve, various ancient Semitic Abrahamic traditions provide further insights. The first daughter of Adam and Eve was named Avon in Phoenician Hebrew, which signifies potency or vice. Avon was both the wife and sister of Cain, who was another son of Adam and Eve. According to the Book of Jubilees, Avon bore children to Cain, including a son named Enoch. It is mentioned in the Bible that Cain constructed a city named Enoch in honor of his son after being banished for murdering Abel. While the name Avon is mentioned in various Abrahamic texts, in some of them, such as the Cave of Treasures, she is referred to as Kelema. Therefore, according to these traditions, Kelema was the wife of Cain and the eldest daughter of Adam and Eve. According to several ancient Semitic traditions, the second daughter of Adam and Eve was Azura. Azura became the wife of Seth, the third son of Adam and Eve, born after Abel's death. The name Seth has Hebrew etymological roots associated with the concept of compensation or substitution. This is significant because Seth is considered a substitute for the loss of Abel, providing divine compensation in the eyes of Adam and Eve. Seth is depicted as a righteous and pious descendant whose lineage leads to Noah, 
a crucial figure in the biblical flood story and the survival of humanity. The Book of Jubilees adds an intriguing detail, stating that Asherah was initially Abel's wife and became a widow after his death. When Seth reached maturity, he married Asherah, and from their union, the lineage of Seth began. The Book of Jubilees informs us that Asherah was born in the sixth week of the fourth Jubilee and married her brother Seth in the fifth week of the fifth Jubilee. In the fourth year of the sixth week, she gave birth to a son named Enos. Later, when Enos reached adulthood, he married his sister Noam in the third week of the seventh Jubilee. Noam was the daughter of Seth and Asherah. Enos, one of the sons of Seth and Asherah, was known for his pious descent and devotion to the worship of God. The primary biblical reference to Enos can be found in Genesis 5 verses 6 to 11, which provides his genealogy. Seth lived for 105 years and begot Enos. After Enos was born, Seth lived for another 807 years and had sons and daughters. In total, Seth lived for 912 years before his death. Enos, when he turned 90, begot a son named Canaan. Enos lived for 815 years and had sons and daughters. In total, Enos lived for 905 years before his death. Enos is primarily known for his practice of prayer and invoking the name of God. Genesis 4 verse 26 mentions that during Enos' time, people began to call upon the name of the Lord. This passage suggests that Enos played a significant role in promoting worship and devotion to God among the descendants of Seth, marking a period of spiritual and religious seeking. According to the ancient book of Jubilees and Semitic Jewish tradition, Cain married his sister Avon, giving rise to the lineage of Cain. On the other hand, Seth married his sister Azra, giving rise to the lineage of Seth. You may wonder how many sons and daughters Adam and Eve had. The biblical text indicates that they had numerous sons and daughters, especially considering Adam's long lifespan of over 800 years. According to ancient traditions, Adam and Eve were exceptionally fertile, surpassing any recorded human fertility. They are believed to have had hundreds of sons and daughters throughout their lives. In modern times, the woman with the highest recorded number of children in human history, according to Guinness World Records, was Valentina Vasilyev. She reportedly had 69 surviving children, with only two dying at a young age. Valentina Vasilyev underwent 27 pregnancies, resulting in 16 pairs of twins, 7 sets of triplets, and 4 sets of quadruplets. While there are reports of women with 50 or even 60 children, Valentina Vasilyev remains the recognized record holder. However, it is important to note that Eve's fertility is considered unparalleled in human history, as she lived much longer, reaching the remarkable age of 900 years according to biblical accounts. Furthermore, according to traditional beliefs, Adam and Eve were believed to have had a large number of children, estimated to be around 70 or even more. Some speculations suggest that due to their robust health, strength, and the cultural context that favored procreation, they may have had hundreds of sons and daughters. In Genesis 6 verse 1, it is mentioned that as the descendants of Adam multiplied on earth, many beautiful daughters were born. An interesting aspect often overlooked is that both the sons and daughters of Adam and Eve had their own distinct ethnic lineages. Initially, Adam and Eve represented a mixed race, contributing to the ethnic diversity observed in humanity. This diversity is evident in the countless ethnicities and races we see today, all sharing a common origin in Adam and Eve. The study of mitochondrial DNA, known as mitochondrial Eve, reinforces this idea by indicating that all of humanity shares a common ancestry despite the ethnic and racial diversity present in the world. This genetic study reveals that all people descend from the same woman, 
highlighting the interconnectedness and richness of ethnic and racial diversity in our global community. Did you know about the story of Adam and Eve's daughters? Feel free to leave your comments. Additionally, if you have suggestions for new topics or characters from scriptures that you would like to see in a video, please share them. Thank you for watching thus far, and see you soon.